if I have to, I'm going to send. Uh, you Breakthrough know what? There's so discovered. many drones waiting for charge around here. Let's uh, go ahead and build a couple more charging stations around the place, just to help things move forward a little bit. Hypersensitive photo. Uh, uh, sorry, photovoltics. Solar panels and large solar panels produce 100% uh, more power. Hmm. Well, that's not terrible. Certainly wouldn't mind it. We could get that going, sure. But later. Right. Uh, oh, there we go. We've got a delivery. What are we going to get? Or are you collected? No, you're collected. Well, okay. Okay, then. Right, where are you? We need you to come down here and recharge as well. Uh, as for you... I think at this point you've got enough power at least sector to get scan. up here. Milestone so go achieved. ahead and try and get there. Scanned all sectors. Hooray! We've only got a couple of milestones that we need to get. Well, we've scanned all sectors. We haven't deep scanned all sectors. There we are. And you're just... Oh, damn it! I forgot. Quickly turn it on. Turn it on. Turn them on. All of them. All of them on. Right now. Ah, oh, no. I needed repair. Because it was so far away. Uh, if you can rush to it, then we might be able to get that up and running before the deep freeze sets in and makes it inoperable. Hopefully we can. But it really seems that most people don't want to. This is unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Uh, okay. And we got him over there to maintain this, perhaps. We just need one more metal. There we go. Please don't be already be frozen. Otherwise, we're going to have a massive power drain in this area. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oof. Ah, uh, was close. All right, we've already got all the concrete there, almost all the metals, and all of the the um, polymers are already there. So this dome is about ready to go up, and I've already got a name in, in mind for it. Someone someone preempted and actually requested specifically a twin dome to to have a name, and I thought the reason was actually quite sweet. Uh, so we're going to be going for that. Uh, wanting waste rock storage for yeah, okay. We need all of these to have a top priority. Please get them sorted out where possible. Sector scanned. There we are. Move all of that waste drop, please. And how's the uh, concrete area doing? All right, I mean, it's gonna draw a little bit more power, but it's fine. Uh, all right, how are we doing with the cubes? Let's uh, go and find you. You finished your job there, so let's move on down. Any other black cube shenanigans going on? No, largely not. Vehicle battery hard low. to see, though. I wish they would give me a, a notification. I mean, I've got so many sensor towers. It would stand to, to reason that I would reconfigure them to tell me when they were... Oh, yeah, it suddenly got very cold, didn't it? Uh, but it would make sense if I reconfigured them to tell me when, when shenanigans were afoot with, with strange alien cubes. Well, we're just waiting here Sector for a moment. Scanned. Unless you're delivering? No, you're picking up. Uh, you might be delivering? Please? No. Dread. Oh, well. Right, let's get you all the way over here then. All the way. And then you're going to be uh, fully charged. Right. Uh, that hasn't yet been broken down. No, it's possibly because I hadn't said it to be broken down. I could do it. Right, well, I want a new scrubber right there, if we can get one. And over here, I believe... Yeah, everything is set up correctly there. We don't need this one set up as, as wide of a reach as we've got it, so let's pull it in. That will actually cover everything, and we'll draw only 2.9 power. Which isn't too bad. Well, it's drawing a little bit extra right now, simply because it's cold, but uh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Now, I don't know if having it drawn a little bit tighter will affect its power draw or not. Select it could well be the case that it does. Are we done? No, almost, though. Very nearly. Would someone please send over these? 
I, I'm getting close to the point where I might just send my transporter to do it. Have you finished that job? Very nearly, actually. Well done. I wonder if we need to bring them all close together, though. But the unfortunate thing is, is I can't move them. It seems that I, I can't shift them around once I've, I've got them in place. Ooh, I see you over there. Don't think I don't. All right, could you get over here and go and scan that for me? Oh, moving through the cold is possibly a bad idea. Yeah, let's uh, let's piggyback then. Let's uh, head over here first, and then move on from this location. All right, any more shenanigans? No, none yet. How full is this? Uh, we've got plenty of them. We've got plenty of room. That's not going to be an issue. Okay. Uh, they are not replicating. I was wondering if maybe if there were enough of them there, it would just eventually cause shenanigans, but no, it doesn't seem to. Uh, we are way out of power, though. That extra drain from uh, our cold buildings. Ouch. What happened? They ran out of water. Ah, damn it, the waste rock over here. That's completely scuppering our plans. Because of that, we no longer have the water that we need. And as a result of not having the water we need, we're now drawing much more power than we want to. And it's going to last for another 1.15 uh, sols. Come on, please, get, a little, get this waste rock moved. You think a that, concrete uh, extractor oh. went abruptly silent? Oh, maintenance requests were met with nothing but static. This event was unlike any malfunction predicted in the security protocols. Orbital scans on the site were revealed no evidence of the existence of the huge structure. Only a black cube matrix centered on the spot where the extractor was supposed to be. A concrete extractor has been destroyed by a black cube. An anomaly has appeared anomaly found. at the site. <gasps> Well, actually, that's we were gonna put going down. Anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We uh, we accept that one, but we need to go and have a look. Okay, so these are potentially malign. How troubling! Very troubling. Mind you, they could be responding to the fact that I've been slowly breaking them apart for the last little while. The fact that I'm. Why are you carrying it all the way down there? Please stop. That's super dumb. Super duper dumb. Maybe what I should do really is, is I tend to build clumps of them at a time. I should really build one until it's full and then move on to another one. I, I guess that that makes sense, really, when you think about it, I suppose. Cable fault reported. Yeah, that was bad. Full on, on icing now over there. All because of those stupid drone, uh, stupid uh, extractors. Right, where are you? Let's get you out, all the way over here, please, and do a little bit of research. Has this been built? Oh, fantastic! Finally, my goodness, pull that right down. All right, we're good. We're leaving. Goodbye. At long last. All right, get over there, please. How are you doing? You're done. Get over there as well, then. Now, these are all reasonably low, so we should be okay. We'll see them. Everything is breaking down. So many things out of power. Well, uh, at least some of the domes still have power. We haven't had any warnings that any particular dome is out of power. The stern and generators are running at, Recent uh, orbital scans. Optimal. Revealed a sudden surge of energy on site. It's now evident that the cubes pose a far greater threat than blocking our infrastructure plans. It appears the black cubes materialized inside the extractor. We could only guess what happened to the building. It seems any of the artifacts could materialize inside a structure, sending it into oblivion. We are now facing a potential threat of future human casualties. Mission Control advises a top priority on the investigation of the disaster. More buildings could collapse in the future, preventing uh, preventative research is now available. A potential solution. This is great news. I agree. Okay. 
It, the spontaneous high energy particle interception and deflection technology allows our sensor towers to detect and guide the materialization of black cubes to safe locations. Uh, well, that is going to get a pretty high priority. Not, well, actually, no, it's going to get a super high priority. Literally the highest. There we go. And then we'll get some extra power coming through. Um, what was I going to work on after that? Oh, yes, uh, factory AI. And then eventually get all of these other things done. Eventually, maybe one day. How much I wish I could get that sorted. Uh, you know what? You're fine. Go and recharge. You're already there, which is fine. You're on your way. Honestly, just go and sit there for now. This... Alright, could you please just decommission them? Just break them down so they're not We have active. a water shortage. Alright, there we go. Go to the other one now. Quickly. Go to that. I just want it broken. Alright, okay, good. We're on the on the go. We are heading over here. You can help out directly with shuffling all of that stuff. In fact, I could build a uh, a drone hub specifically for maintaining these buildings. It's a big expense, but as we've seen, it may in fact be necessary. So sure, we'll build one. And we'll tighten its uh, area of operation so it only services these. It's a bit of a bit of a shame, but it's what we need to do. Don't without water. Yeah, 19 hours on the cold wave. Once that's over, everything should be better. But uh, will you please get in? Please. There we go. My lord. Right. Get up there, please. Right now. And when you get there, open up. Anomaly analyzed. Will, will you go there now? There we go. Perfect. My name is Kim, and you are listening to the Red Frontier. You are heading to the station with the whole Red Martian nation. There we go. Uh, we could just have the drones here do this one. Wouldn't be a bad idea. We are attempting to make some sort of sense of the laws that govern the cube's behavior. But it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack in a pitch black cave while blindfolded. Wow, that does sound pretty complex. Still, our scientists managed to define some extent why the cubes sometimes materialize in our buildings. It seems that some cryptic algorithm first sends a pulse of tachyons to the area where the cube will materialize. If the Chernikov radiation measurements are within certain limits, the cube appears on the spot. Thus, the cubes avoid appearing inside rocks. Indeed, none of our scans confirmed that any cube spawned inside of a high-density object. Our structures tend to be much less dense than the monolithic Martian rocks. We can modify our sensor towers to create a fake Chernikov effect by bombarding the areas around our structures with particles which are harmless to our colonists, but would still prevent the cubes from threatening our colony. Sensor towers now protect nearby buildings from the black cubes. A small victory. Our efforts continue. Oh, well, I've got sensor towers all over the place. So how how big of an effect do they have? Let's go and find a sensor tower, and then we can uh, work this out. Where is the sensor? Oh, there was a sensor tower in there. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's the area of effect that it has. So we now need to build a lot of these. Very well. Uh, let's get a couple more of them. They don't need to be built in any particular pattern, honestly. Uh, are you working there? Good. Uh, simply because they are self-powered and self-maintained. Uh, we can just drop loads of them, honestly. Anywhere we have buildings, even slightly. Actually, don't put it there. That one will block other constructions I want to do in the future. Right, got some things over here where you're definitely going to want to protect the domes for obvious reasons. And we'll then go and drop a few around here. One, In fact, one will cover the entire area. That's pretty solid. Alright. Seems perfect. This is keeping everything clean. Excellent. Uh oh. Oh no, no, it was a, it was a tower. It's fine. It's, it's all okay. And we have finished stacking everything around here as well. All right. Not too bad. 
Are there any more techs that we've uh, unlocked for this? No, we're still quite far, far behind the potential um, extent of our um, breakthrough, so we might see a couple more. Uh, let's go ahead and dump some extra money into that. There we are. And we have run out of power completely, or things need to be... They're, they're through. Oh, okay. Well, we've only got three hours. It's fine. We can live with it. Annoying though it may be, we can. This is the worst cold wave yet. By far. All right, uh, you're currently charging, I believe. Oh, there we go. We've got our drone hub going up. Excellent. All right, well, given that, uh, let's Pipe reduce the uh, area of effect quite narrowly. Then we're going to have only the items that we actually need for maintenance of these buildings stored up here. Pop this down. Uh, we want electronics for both of these. We want machine parts and metal. So electronics, machine parts, and metals are all we require. There we go. Thank goodness, my lord. I'm going to turn these off. Not that they're particularly useful for us right now. Uh, sure, we'll expand that out at least to the... Oh, we can't get, quite get it to the pipes. Oh, well then, we'll just keep it quite tight then around there. I don't think this ever actually um, has any negative effects due to freezing, so that should be okay. Welcome back. You're listening to the Red Front right then. Station with Kim uh, we'll probably do the same we over here, though. We have a message from Devin. Hey, Kim. I just want to invite you and all your listeners to the first virtual and Martian there. beer symposium. Hmm. Since it may be hard for everybody to get there physically, we have created a video link with an augmented reality environment solution. Hmm. That sounds, sounds awesome. Good. It will feel like we're all together regardless of where you are. Even people back on Earth can join us. That sounds very awesome. Just actually. order the Martian Beer Symposium Dream Pack. It contains samples of all the beer we'll try. Then resources are low. Hub, we can all hang out together. Interested? Devin. Devin, that's really a great initiative. Count me in. It does actually sound like a really good plan. More initiatives like this. To celebrate this wonderful idea, let's play a song. There we go, and that should keep everything going over there. All right, uh, it wasn't terrible, I suppose. Right, are we going to see any more black cubes around the place? Keep your eyes peeled. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I spy you there. Uh, let's get over there and start packing them up. In fact, we can probably reach over there. I wonder if, because we've decided to store them, it all comes down to how much we store how the progress of this particular um, this particular mystery moves on. So we've got to keep our eyes peeled at all times. Ooh, what was that? No, that's uh, polymers. Nothing going on there. Okay, everything looks reasonably good. Other than you, obviously. But... Oh, wrong thing. My my bad. That was that was totally the wrong one. I like it's derping. Right. You can come down from the, up there because we've already got a drone hub there, so you don't no longer have to worry about it. Right, we want metal. We want only metal out of the basic ones, and we don't want fuel. Everything else we need. So let's get all of that coming along, please. I'm actually not doing too bad with most of the stuff that we're collecting. Uh, metal is a bit of a worry. But, that said, well, actually, we can hit this area down here. We would need to expand down there. Oh, Vector Gale is a composed Martian-born nerd who's rugged and is a genius. Gr generates research when in the colony. Now, I don't believe that geniuses need to work in research buildings in order to generate that uh, the the research points, but that's always cool. 
Uh, you shall be reported. Oh, uh, a pipe leak. No, you won't be a pipe leak. Martin. Martin Haywood. Welcome to the colony, Martin. No, that's fine. Let's shut that down. Well, actually, could we? Could we, I wonder? Maybe possible. Too far from a working drone commander. That's a shame. Okay. We're going to need to uh, expand this out then a little bit more. Run the power. Well, that being said, actually, no, let's not do that. Let's make a localized area here. Now, this will draw how much? Extractor draws five power, but can be upgraded and will draw more power as a result. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and build one, two, three. We will then build a scrubber right there. Actually, we'll pop that one down there so it covers everything. And then we will build ourselves a drone hub as well. Right there. And that drone hub should be within range to have the other drone hub constructed. We'll have a universal depot and a metal depot. The universal depot will contain everything we're going to need to repair these buildings. This requires... Mechanical parts, which, yeah, so it's just going to be mechanical parts. And is there a way for me to just quickly turn all these off? Because I seem to have to click every single time, which is a bit annoying. But just mechanical parts and electronics required there. And that'll be enough to take care of it all. Uh, we are actually also going to require a sensor tower built there. Just to make sure everything is protected. Resources are low. What about there? We could hit this concrete area if we really wanted to. How's things going? Things are going alright there. And it doesn't look like there's anything more popping up around the edge around here. And everything in the cold zone seems alright as well. Alright, all we're waiting on is this tiny little bit more metal. And then we're good. I could perhaps allow some more people in here, but I, I think we're just going to allow it. If I add three people... I'm not sure really if that's gonna be better or worse. Well, actually, that being said, okay, let's let's allow three people in here. We'll see what that's like. Yeah, the building performance is already better than 50, so sure, and it gives you something to do. Resources are low. Ah, uh, yes, they they are low. In fact, I know. We could go out and mine a little bit more if we wanted to. That might be well worth it. We'll have a look. Right now, I'm waiting on a lot of things to be repaired, though. Uh, I would like all of my water tanks to be high priority, though. Resources are low. Yes, I know. I know. They're always going to be low, unfortunately. Uh, that place is sorted. Uh, right. What we could do, then, is... First and foremost, our transporter can go out and mine for us. If we can find our way with a decent deposit. There's a decent deposit over here. Sure. Okay, let's go there, grab everything, and haul it all back down there. Next, I'm going to take... You finished your job, or have you? No, you haven't, actually. You can't. That's, that's a new one as well. Add a new collection there, then. And, oh, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. Let's get over there in case... We shouldn't be seeing them popping up around my uh, structures now, actually. So Resources I probably sh are shouldn't be looking there. Alright, sure. Let's get up there and start taking care of... The Ooh, low on food. Now that is worrying. Mm, I'm not sure we are. I'm not sure we are. Uh, how are we doing for... Right, available drone prefab. That's great. Let's add an extra four up here. And then drop down another one of these right there. Right, you're going to be... Uh, try. I'm afraid we're going to have to break it down and then rebuild it. It's the only option that we have here. And then immediately rebuild it. It's going to cost us a bunch of mechanical parts, but it's the only way we're going to get that place uh, 
sorted out. This can be expanded slightly. There we are. It'll also keep cl clean the, the pipes and the cables as well, which is quite good. Wow, that's filling up super fast. Okay, we are going to need a second one pretty soon there then. Let's get that on the go. How about everything down here? Should all be reasonably well set up. We don't need that one nearly as large. Just wanted to clean this up. Likewise over here, don't need it quite as wide. Oh, we'll leave it there, I think. Okay, for the most part, though, I'm fairly happy with that. For the most part. Alright, how are we doing down here? We've got power, we've got mechanical parts. This will hopefully be built reasonably soon. But we do need the metals for it, so... Then is the problem. Building with the exhausted deposit. Very well, let's get rid of you. And actually uh, break down this whole area all the way back. And indeed... Uh, well, we can leave that there, I suppose. Let's get this waste rock collected as well. How are we going with deep water extraction? Not too bad. Um, following that, actually, I think what we really need to go for is the waste rock liquefaction. As much as I keep saying we've got, there's so many things I want to get. And that's always going to be the case. There's always going to be an, another thing that you want. Always that part I would like to get uh, get that up and running if we can. Right, how are you doing? Uh, you're not doing too terribly bad. It's not great either, but well done. Right, are there rocks that we could mine around here? Vehicle Quite a lot, actually. Now. Sure. Okay, let's get over there. And we'll place down a universal depot. You can just fill that up and hopefully our shuttles can come and collect. We're doing okay with your... In fact, we're, we're generally doing okay with most things. Uh, metal is a bit of a problem, but we're getting there. Two more, and we finally have this wonderful dome ready to roll with. We play the tracks that will make you Has it been built yet? No. It's just metal. Metal is the, the one big thing that we're waiting on. Once we get deep metal extraction, it's going to be great, but the, the regular surface deposits are all down here, which is just a massive pain in the bum. That being said, we could head down here and just have uh, remote extractors grabbing all this, this stuff. Hmm. You know what? That is a better idea. Let's get you down there, please. Whilst you have a look for any more cubes, like this one right there. And that's about it that I can see for the time being. There don't appear to be any more that we need to worry about. Now they're hauling a lot of stuff around, actually. Did you manage to bring any metal? Hmm, doesn't look like you did. A shame. Well, recharge anyway. Let's see how the metal man is doing. How much is more is left? It is a decent amount. And it's now going to be uh, moving this out a little bit better. Oh, thank goodness. Finally got the oval dome going up. I am deeply satisfied with this. Deeply, deeply satisfied. Uh, right. You are doing a good job over there. Let's get rid of you for now. That is very nearly ready. Wow. We really need the, the liquefaction. Or we are we are really going to drown in this thing. Can you even reach that far out? Uh you can if I just expand it a little bit. That'll do. And then we'll start another pile along that side. There we are, these ten drones working for that are doing a fantastic job. You've got a lot of drones there. We don't need you doing that much. Though honestly, there's no reason not to, really. Alright, let's get up to... Sure, let's take you up to 15, since you've got a heavy load. Oh, well, actually, up to 16 then, fine. I don't necessarily want more drones just yet. Resources we can wait for now. 
a decent amount of metal coming out of that mine. But there we are. We've got our oval dome. And the name for this dome shall be... Walker Dome. There you go. In name of actual real life twins. But uh, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this recording set. And uh, it'll probably be split into several episodes. This is two hours long. And uh, I will go and grab myself a cup of tea and then continue. As I said, we're going to be recording to the end of the game. Uh, hopefully that means I will be able to get a, an episode out today. But if not, well... By the time that you start watching this recording set, you'll know the reason why. And I, I, I hope you can forgive me, but I really do want to be able to finish the, uh, the, the mystery for you guys. And rather than just suddenly have to stop and then hope we get the Black Cube mystery the next time we play. But that's going to be it for now. So until next time, and as always, do leave me any comments below and take care.